you're having a good time at Christmas Con. I am. I'm having a great time at Christmas Con. Um, I love doing these cons. I love that's for entertainment. I think they uh, they they run an amazing event. It runs very smoothly, and I, I have a, always have a great time. We're always well taken care of. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. Well, we always, of course, want to talk to you about country wedding, fan favorites. Right. <laughs> uh, there's so many good scenes in that a movie. But when you first got the script, did you have a feeling like, okay, this is going to be a, one of the good ones? No. Yeah. No, I didn't really have a feeling that it was going to be a, a classic uh -huh. Hallmark movie. If it yeah. is a classic Hallmark I movie, so. I see, it feels like it is. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people, that's their favorite all-time Hallmark movie, yeah. which is pretty... Crazy. It's up there um, for me, and I've seen literally hundreds. The story, the story behind getting that part that's actually pretty interesting mm -hmm. is that they told me that I had to learn these three songs, you know, that were in that were in the script. Yeah. And I fell really, really ill before I, I had to travel to Vancouver to shoot, you know, a, a country wedding. So it was like it was pretty challenging for me to get together with my guitar teacher. And learn these three songs after after just recovering from like being really sick. Yeah. Um, but I think that uh, you know it was kind of going that extra mile and being able to you know really sing and play these songs on guitar uh, well that yeah. that made it made it possible for me to play like an authentic you know country music artist. You know, but I was Which, gonna ask you about that with Trace. Yeah. Like, was was music always a big part of your life? Something you were interested in? Or that come later? Um, yeah, music's always been a big part of my life. You know, I, I, I sang in the chorus when I was a kid, and uh, I, I, I played um, multiple instruments. You know, I played the piano, and I, I played the clarinet, and oh, I really? played the guitar growing up. So, uh -huh. yeah. That's cool. That's good. Uh, so, did you have pretty much easy uh, initial chemistry with Autumn, or did, did you have to kind of work on that, or how was that? You know, talking about chemistry, in a television show or in a film, I always find interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like if you're a good actor, you create these things, mm -hmm. you know, for the audience. Autumn's an incredible actor, you know? I yeah. like to think of myself as a proficient actor. Mm -hmm. And I think as actors, we created that chemistry. But do I have a fondness for Autumn Reeser? Of course, I mm -hmm. do. And we did have an instant connection. Yeah. We love that. I love the scene uh, with where you list your favorite things. It's so good. It's a lot of people's favorite scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the stars really aligned on that scene, you know, uh -huh. because you want to be able to, you know, a access the emotion when you need yeah. to. And, uh, you know, I had to I had to perform that in front of a lot of background mm -hmm. players, a lot of a lot of extras uh, in that particular scene. Yeah. So I, there, there was a lot of pressure, but, uh, you know, the emotion yeah. came and it was organic. And I think uh, that's what made the scene special. Was it a tricky role to play because you're engaged to someone else, like, and you don't want to come off as like, you know? You know, I, that's something that I've never worried about as an actor. Mm -hmm. I've never worried about being quote unquote likable, um, and a lot of people worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, executives, writers, directors, mm -hmm. they're always worried about people being likable. Mm -hmm. um, I think some actors have a certain likability. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't really necessarily matter um, if every choice they make is a virtuous one. Mm -hmm. They just kind of, mm -hmm. you know, ingratiate themselves with the audience. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I feel like I've played a lot of a lot of flawed characters, even in Hallmark movies. Mm -hmm. You know, like Christmas Next Door, for instance. Yeah. Um, you know, and there was a lot. There was some pushback. You know, on some of the the sarcasm and the gruffness um, and the edge kind of that I brought to that character, that some of the anger. Um, but I think that it, it ended up working in the end. It ended up being funny. Yeah. I was going to ask what it was like to sort of play a Scrooge sort of type. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can, I can access that aspect of my personality pretty easily. <laughs> uh -huh. And it had to be fun with the kids. The kids were totally up for it, too. Yeah. You know, I, I, I suggested in some scenes, you know, some, some ad libs for the kids, you know, that they were kind of, uh, you know, firing back at, at, at my character, you know, mm -hmm. like meeting his sarcasm. And uh, I, again, I think a lot of that stuff uh, really played, but they were totally up for it and they loved it. Mm -hmm. I still stay in touch with both of those young actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these years later. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. So with... For Trace and Chesapeake Shores, he had a character that had like emotional baggage that he had to deal with. And how was that kind of tapping into it and playing that role? Well, I, I love to play characters that 
have baggage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it gives you it gives you a place to go. Um, mm -hmm. And I think at that time in my life, um, you know, I, I, I related to that character um, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, that was a great creative journey for me because, you know, I kind of helped develop that character, you know, because that, that, that wasn't the way the character was written. Yeah, he's um, like an archetype in the, the book, right? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we sort of, um, you know, married some, some aspects of A Country Wedding mm -hmm. with the book series Chesapeake Shores. Yeah. It seemed to work. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed to work. You know, uh, there were some challenges in developing storylines and, and keeping certain things going, you know, but, yeah. um, you know, I, I had a great, great time on that show and I, I love playing that character. I love being a part of that cast and, uh, you know, okay, that, that show seemed to really resonate with people. So I'd say, I'd say it was a hit. I'd say yeah. it was a winner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't get well, as many seasons as it got if people aren't tuning in. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Uh, so you had your mystery show and what would be your pitch to Hallmark say, bring this back. This is a great show. Wow. That's a great question. <laughs> um, I would say my pitch to Hallmark uh, on bringing back Martha's Vineyard Mysteries would be, I've noticed that you guys are reviving um, some of the previous mystery series. I think Martha's Vineyard Mysteries would be an excellent series to revive. I just think it was incredibly well written. Um, it was a great, great ensemble cast. Uh, I get asked about the series quite often, especially here at Comic-Con. Um, people uh, definitely have an appetite to see another installment of the Martha's Vineyard Mysteries and, and, and find out who shot Jeff Jackson. So, Yeah, you can't leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Well, we have some fun Christmas questions okay. we're going to ask you. So first question, what is your favorite holiday drink? Probably eggnog. Mm -hmm. Non-alcoholic. Yeah? yeah. Good. Good. Okay. What is your favorite holiday cookie or treat? Gingerbread. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas song or carol? <sighs> Probably Christmas. Um, Mariah Carey. Uh, yeah, can't beat that. Yeah. She's the queen. All right, what is your favorite classic Christmas movie? Oh, man, um, probably Home Alone. You wouldn't believe, I would say 85% say Home yeah, Alone. Yeah, probably Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. Taylor Cole just said Home yep. Alone. <laughs> uh, okay, very good. Uh, which do you like better, Scrooge or The Grinch? Scrooge. Okay, good. Which do you like better, clear lights or colored? I, I honestly, I, I like them both. Mm -hmm. I really can't decide on that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you rather be in a snowball fight or build a snowman? Snowball fight. Okay. <laughs> do you consider yourself a good gift wrapper? Very. Okay. I'm a very good gift wrapper. It looks good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. You can't even see my tape. Oh, nice. <laughs> I hide my tape. Good. All right. Last question. Do you have an ugly Christmas sweater? I think in... Christmas next door, you, you had a good Christmas sweater. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely had um, several ugly Christmas sweaters <laughs> in Christmas next door. Um, yeah, no, I have an ugly Christmas sweater for sure. I think I have multiple. Oh good. Yeah. <laughs> do you have Do you have your ugliest one? I just have sweaters that people think are ugly that I wear at Christmas. Yeah, you're yeah. like they're, so they're not, not like, ugly. You know, yeah. <laughs> very good. Okay. Thank you very much. You answered all the questions. <laughs>